you want to support the channel, consider trying Big Daddy Unlimited. Big Daddy Unlimited is a membership program, great store that has a lot of farms, accessory, tactical gear, medical gear, all the cool tactical mindset, two-way related content at a discounted price. I've been using them myself. I've been using them personally to purchase some of my farms and accessories and they reach out and I've, I'm testing out the affiliate program. So if you try Big Daddy Unlimited by getting a membership using the link in the description of this video, that will be a way to supporting the channel. And as many of you do that, I can get some support from them in making those contents even more enjoyable to you or making sure we have access to some cool stuff so that you can be educated and entertained. So try Big Daddy Unlimited, sign up for the membership using the link in this video. Thanks. Hello YouTube, thanks for watching. This is Easy B. I just figured I'll pop a quick video to talk about some cool pistol. Uh, if you like today's video, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, post a comment. I'd like to hear your thoughts about what we're gonna talk about today. But <clears throat> before I continue, I'm out here taking a break. I'm a little sweaty. I just spent a whole day training. Get some training, stay sharp, stay knowledgeable. And uh, if you have a farm or any other toy, train with them. If you have whatever tool that you have, read the manual, train with it. But anyway, <clears throat> I like classic stuff. So today I want to talk about a couple of things. The CZ, VZ51, 61 Scorpion, sorry. The SA VZ61 Scorpion, and we have two samples of it. This is a D Technic one. And this one is one by CSA Arm, also known and distributed and purchasable by Checkpoint USA. So that's what we're gonna go through today. And I don't pretend to have all the history on each all the guns. Uh, there's also better content, better viewers to provide that. But anyway, let's talk about this pistol. So the VZ61 Scorpion is a pistol chambered in 32 ACP or 308 and this one is in 765 let's start with this one so currently I think the import the manufacturer and makers of the CZ50 VZ, VZ61 VZ58 is CSA arm check small arms if I'm believe if I'm, I'm correct you can get them and import them through checkpoint USA what I don't know for sure is if CSA arm used to be called D Technic because this VZ61 is a D Technic VZ61. And before I go any further, all firearms are clear, safety check, no magazine, no ammunition anywhere. This one doesn't have a magazine on the video. Anyway, this is a D Technic VZ61 pistol. And this one is a CSA arm. Let's talk about the similarities and difference. I'll have to kind of do some close up along the way. However, before we go there, general history, regardless of which one it is, this is a Czech Republic, previously known as Slovakia, Czechoslovakian pistol. It was designed for tankers, military, uh, police forces, close arms, close quarter kind of pistol and it was adopted by the military and the police. But in now, modern today's, in today's, in, in modern days, this is a sporting and shooting, sport and competition pistol. Uh, just a sport and defensive pistol, that's the term I'm looking for, not so much competition, but sporting and defense shooting. This one's particularly, partic particularly, I think was purchased around 2000, uh, Foish, I believe it came from California and that's why it's got this extended muzzle device which made it California compliant I don't know what this actual extra piece is really doing however this was a this was supposed to be California compliant I think it's pin and welded here in the bottom and that's kind of way the way these come out because originally they look more like this is if you can see the barrel is a little shorter norm traditionally 
So manufactured and designed, I believe, in 1959, but really production adoption started around 1961, does the term VZ61. Let's talk about the feature. Semi-automatic, these are both semi-automatic. It was also done as a submachine gun, which I don't have, and I've never shot a submachine gun of it. Magazine release, the safety is here, zero, one position. The charging handle is reminding us of the KH9, the Spectre, it's these two tabs, you grab them and you slide them. The side kind of adjustable or two positions on the rear to be more precise. One at 75 meters and one at 150 meters. So you have this notch where you can flip from 75 to 150. And the front side has this little lever, the little wings that protecting on the front side. <clears throat> the magazine insert to the bottom. This one is a 765. So, but this magazine is for the this sort of pistol, which is more with 380 or 32 ACP, 32 ACP. So, same, you can have them in several configurations. This one happened to have a wood grip. You can have one in polymer, plastic, black, uh, black grip. Um, still an aluminum frame. Markings are similar. On the side here, you have the SA VZ61 pistol. You have the marking with the caliper. On this side, it says patent pending. And here you have the manufacturer or in this case, manufacturer and importer marking. So this one says D-Technic, Czech Republic, Waffen works through Knoxville, Tennessee. So let's switch to this one for a little bit. So this is the same, same pistol, but in 32 ACP, and the magazine goes just like this. Release by pushing the button. And okay. when you have the magazine in, you have a slide lock. You release the magazine. And if I recall, the slide lock release, you just pull out and let go. So this is the same pistol, except this one is in, in chamber in 32 ACP. And this one has, the sight is about a little different design. So it's the same 75 to 150, but one little tiny distinction is, if I'm not mistaken, actually, yeah, just the numbering, you can tell the numbering is a little bit different. And I'll try to do a close up. I forget the numbering is just a bit different anyway this one says Czech small arm Czech Republic so different markings it's got the CSC logo right here this magazine is unloaded empty no rounds here so don't freak out as I'm trying to and on safe so when it's on safe you cannot operate the charging handle you have to put it on fire position or one in this case then you can do a slide release yes pull the slide back so markings this one has the csa arms logo u.s pattern number there's a pattern assigned to this one so it has a pattern already a pattern number visible this one has pattern pending this is the older one of the two pistol and this is the d technique this one is the D technique. So, but it's also to checkpoint Knoxville, Tennessee. So they're both coming through Knoxville, Tennessee. So I'm guessing, and I don't know this. If you do know, please post a comment. I was trying to figure out, I was trying to do a quick research to see if D technique sold a patent to CSA Arms or if D technique became CSA Arms, doesn't look like that. However, I think they both came through the same route to Knoxville, Tennessee. So it's very interesting that they both have Knoxville, Tennessee as an importing location because if D Technique and CSA Arms are two different companies, the importer may be the same person. 
but anyway today i have not found any d techniques pistol for sale on a website or a, a pistol call sold by d technique i found csa arms only which right now on their website they're saying the only manufacturer of vz61 pistol or vz58 if i didn't mention the life popular i think the lifespan the popularity both on the vz58 and the vz61 pistol are very similar they're not identical but they seem to have the same importer they seem to have the same kind of lifespan meaning as when they switch from d technique to csa arm so they're not the same gun but if you follow the way they the, the trend between where and how you get them back in the 2000s and 1999 ish till now it went from d technique to now being checkpoint check small arms via checkpoint usa so please if you do know or if you checkpoint or csa let me know can where you did technique at some point or is this a partnership because i i'm trying to i really wanted to know i don't see enough i did not find enough history on the d technique company as a company i should say so let's go back to talking about the pistol itself oh this button down below i was shuffling with for a second it's a slide lock so when you don't have a magazine on a vz61 you can pull the slide and press this button to lock the slide back out so it's a slide lock how does it shoot very flat i think very fun i shot the 32 acp not too recently but i th i hope i have some footage if not i will have some footage by the time i post this they shoot pretty well flat shooter not too much recall you know based on the calipers of course depending on the caliber but the beauty is that they're really meant to be submachine guns so there is a brace adapter that you can acquire once you have a form one and you've legally turned this into a short barrel rifle and there is a wire stock that falls over the upper slide that you can install once you have that adapter and once it's a legal short barrel rifle so i do have a part kit i will try to i do have a parts not a part kit i do have the foldable stock and the adapter i have to do a form one before i install or I may, I may bring it close right now so if atf if you're watching the pistol is over there the adapter is way over there in another building so please bear with me i'm not trying to violate any laws really that's a quick rundown on the vz61 pistol i really always like this it's a cool pistol i think those classic and i'm oh i forgot to mention i'm sure many of you I've known this from video games and some movies. Very popular in video games. Of course, this is not the school submachine gun full automatic. I wish it could be, but this is just the poor semi-auto version. Oh, if you notice, I'm trying to release the slide and I cannot. That's because it's unsafe. I think this pistol has some great safety feature. Although I activated that button, it can only work to release it once you have the safety off. Oh, am I misspeak, misspoken? Am I mis, misspeaking? Let's see. Okay, admin, good. Oh, it's back on safe, okay. I put on fire and I just slide and release. I put it on safe. Oh, that's another thing. Once you put it on safe, let's say, slide lock. It's on fire, I pull the slide back, it, it goes back up. If I'm holding the slide back and I put it on safe, I let it go, it will stop right here, slide open. I think for the period, correct, for that period, that safety, that safety is pretty much on point. All right, I think I've bought you enough. SAVZ61 pistol, very cool. I think it's a cool thing to have in a collection. This is more of a, on a collector mindset and I enjoy this. I haven't shot it much. To be honest, I haven't shot it enough. Uh, so, I wanted to share with you a couple of VZ61 pistols, also known as VZ61 Scorpion. The one from CSA Arms and the one for D Technique. So, let's talk about the difference between these two. I kept saying I'm about to wrap up the video, but real quick, besides the markings and the fact that this serial number is 
lower in has a as lower in position and this serial number is longer they are pretty much identical if you look at the bottom this button the, the design the internals are identical there are a couple of pins that are different so the d technic has a couple of pin weld points that i see here and a tiny one that i see here and you can see them on the other side as well right over there when the csa arm doesn't have these extra two welding pin points there so that's one the other difference is just a slight color variation between the lower part of the receiver and the upper I know the difference. This one doesn't have the pre-drill holes for the brace adapter, but I'm sure you can switch this cap. And this is if you want it to install the stock, folding stock, after it's been legally turned into a short barrel rifle. I think that gives it a little more patina, to be honest. It's kind of a, the bluing went a little more grayish when the top is completely black. And this one is completely black and recent besides that they are pretty much almost identical oh no there's one more thing i noticed on this side of the front uh front side there's an extra hole here an extra pin for the csa arms the more recent pistol versus this one there's only one pin up on the side picture Hope you enjoyed today's video sorry i need to kind of freshen up it's been a great day learn a lot today did some i'm doing some training hope you enjoyed give us a thumbs up like the video subscribe to the channel comment let me know do you have one of those what do you think of them have you done any enhancement to them is yours an sbr and please someone help me find out what happened to d technique i did a search on them there's still a company called d technique a.s in the czech republic they are now doing more plastic production and manufacturing maybe they are the same who used to do the farms importation and ammunition are they now csa arms did they just transfer the pattern or sold them if you know that answer i would love really i would love to know it's a piece of history on the pistol and i'm just curious about finding that out so i appreciate you watching Stay safe, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.